regular cleanings, which we'll probably want to do every six months, or in cases of extreme noises that we don't seem to be able to reduce by simple oilings, we're going to want to remove the valves from the instrument. Now, in order for you to see this clearest, I'm going to talk you through the procedure first, and then we're going to let you see from the subjective view, from my view, of exactly what it will look like as we remove the valves. And each procedure will be demonstrated. Then there will be a pause point, so that if you are following along, you may stop the video, complete the procedure, and then restart it, and we can rejoin then at that point. The first thing we're going to want to do is, as we have done with this instrument, remove all the slides and set them to the side. You'll also notice that I have a set of trays numbered for each valve, and all the parts will be kept together. The first thing you want to do is remove the back cap, place it in its appropriate cup. Do that for all the valves. Next, then, you will want to disconnect the linkage and then take the screw from this and put it also in the appropriate cup. Next, then, we will be hammering the valve free and we'll take the stopper arm and all those parts then and put them in the cup. And then at that point, you'll be ready for the cleaning procedures. So now, let's go through it once more slowly with the close-ups. Okay, now you notice we've turned the tuba over to the back side so that we can get to the back caps. Now, with your hand, remove the back cap. Part of the time, you'll find these have become frozen. The way to release these now is with the wood dowel and mallet. Hold the mallet firmly on the back cap and think of a solid strike with the mallet. Be careful not to damage any of the surrounding tubing, so try to remain parallel with the tuba. And then one solid shot with the mallet should free the back cap. Now we should be able to easily remove the back cap with just our fingers. Take the cap out and place it in the container with all the other parts from this valve and then repeat the procedures for all remaining back caps. Now that we have removed all the back caps, we've turned the tuba back over and inserted our colored card for clarity. Now at this point we're going to want to disconnect the linkage. What we can do is either hold the paddle with one hand or grasp the arm with one hand. Now with the other hand, insert a screwdriver of the appropriate size and remove the screw. In this case, the uni-ball screw. This would be the same procedure then for the S-link or for the ball and socket. So as the screw is removed, gently release the linkage. And now we repeat this procedure for all remaining paddles. Okay, now we've disconnected all the linkages here and placed the screws in the appropriate container with the other parts of the valve. Now we're going to remove this screw here, the stopper arm retaining screw. With a screwdriver that cleanly fits the head of the screw, we want to remove this screw now. Okay, now that we're getting the screw out, we're going to also place it into the container with the other parts. Now we're going to drive the valve out. Now with this we're going to need our hardened steel shaft. There are a few things important here. Notice the hand placement with the three fingers underneath the valve in a position to catch the valve. Now with the thumb and index finger, we're going to insert the shaft into the screw hole, hold it firmly, and then with our mallet, give some solid blows that will drive this valve out. Now be ready to catch the valve underneath. It's very important that we don't let the valve fall or we can seriously damage the instrument. So here we go. We'll drive the, the valve out. As you see, we go underneath them and we have freed the stopper arm retaining screw and the valve now is free. We'll take all of these parts and put them in the container with all of the parts associated with this valve. So now we'll repeat this procedure for the rest of the instrument. 